but regardless i will be vlogging and letting you guys know what is going on very exciting things coming um so fingers crossed it all goes according to plan this weekend and i will have very exciting news for you guys coming up shortly but yeah there's a lot of things coming up so stay tuned for that and stuff my husband is not home to help me and that means that our plans about our exciting news i still don't want to jinx it or spoil it or nothing but it's happening bitch it's happening and i'm fucking excited i'm so excited but he's not home he is miles and miles away making it happen for us so yeah This thing is big, huh? I don't know if it's gonna fit in our yard. It's built different. It was a FedEx truck, I guess. But it's gonna look nice. We get to choose how we want to paint it. We get to put stickers on it. And we get to eat all the ice cream. There's a mess. I've been throwing shit. Hey, there's Maxwell. No, 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 no. That's good. the other seat. I'm gonna fix that. Damn. Oh, damn. That seat's a little busted. What? <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful once it's ready. We're gonna have so much ice cream. Esto es el lado que se va a abrir. Wow. Is this like, what is this? What? I don't know. But we got to get freezers in here. Where are we going to put the freezers? You stock it up with takis, they see. I'm going to eat them all. <laughs> Sheesh. So, yeah. You drive while I serve ice cream, they see? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's just a fan. Never mind. Ma, you could be parked outside during school hours. For reals. I'm gonna pick you up in the ice cream truck. So from here on out, the work started and so many people pitched in to help us out with working on it. And I tried to record as much as I could of people who helped us. The first one was my husband's Theo who helped us sand the entire outside of the truck so that it could be painted. On this day, two of my husband's friends came over and helped with opening the outside of the truck so that the window could be placed there they took down the shelves and they did a whole bunch of stuff my dad was also here helping this was the shelf that they created the start of it so that the candy that's like the candy rack the shelves for that so slowly they started working on all of that all of that was done here at home this is also the shelf where like all the chips and stuff go on and then from here on out, the rest was done at another place. They had to move the truck to a lot where they were able to work on it. And I did not get to see it from this point on until they brought it back home. This was the day that I went and picked it up. Um, again, one of my husband's, another Theo actually um, went with me to go pick it up. And then this was the day that our freezer was delivered and then to top it off the truck also needed a new transmission it was just so much work and so many expenses this is the the start of the sink which another one of my husband's friends um helped with the plumbing and stuff so literally everyone pitched in with something my dad's a welder so he helped weld some of the um shelves and stuff and then this was when they finally brought it back home that one. That one? Oh, okay, okay. The one that makes you vibe, Mitzi. I feel like the scream was the one that was good. <laughs> That's so cool. On this day, one of my brother-in-laws and my nephew came over and installed this rear camera so I can see when I'm backing up a new Bluetooth speaker. And this little gadget is what plays the, the ice cream music. They installed speakers and plugged in lights, so that was a huge help from them. And then 
this was still the same day that we had just brought the ice cream truck back home and one of my husband's friends gave us the push and told us that we he wanted us to start right the next day and we didn't have absolutely anything to get started so overnight literally i went this was already like 6 7 p.m he told me where to go what to get and in one day overnight we got ourselves ready to sell if it wasn't for him pressuring us i don't think we would have started until a few weeks out and i'm glad he pushed us um fyi like two or three of my husband's friends own their ice cream truck as well so they're the ones that initiated all of this for us and got this in our heads of starting this business so they have been an amazing help guiding us through everything so yeah if it wasn't for that push i i don't know when we would have started we probably wouldn't even have started yet so i'm super glad we did it's we've been restocking like every other day so we are doing amazing and it's all honestly thanks to everyone that has helped us out so incredibly much this day was the next morning after the truck got back home my dad came over to help he also welded um he welded a few things for us but he came this day in particular to weld like a frame for this big freezer but he stayed home doing that because we literally went and sold that day already um this was us stocking up and organizing everything that we had purchased the girls helped with everything and yeah it's it's been crazy but it's been a lot of fun okay so here she is in all her glory <laughs> not so much glory she still needs a lot of work she's super plain from the outside and we are gonna work on that slowly but from the inside she's ready to go so we have been working for about uh going on two weeks now and it's been slow and steady, but it's been good. It's been really good. We just needed to get it started or else. Si nos esperábamos hasta que estuviera al 100% lista, like, we'd be losing out, out on a lot of money that we already need. Like, we're, yeah, we need to, we needed to have it running, you know? So, um, my plans are to have this side painted um what the girls not what the girl's name but what the truck's name we do have a name planned out for her um so i want like the name up on the top and then like a drawing on the bottom so we'll get on that i have someone in mind that i want to um ask for a quote so i have to do that still but this is her on this side and then for the menu, these are the options that we have so far. Again, slowly we are going to work on building it up, building our, up our inventory, filling up the whole downside with those. But for now, let's look at the nemos. And then we also have this menu here, which this menu is also um, tenemos que conseguir el que, pues el grandotote, el que va aquí todo but again that's another expense that we can't afford at the moment so for now we just taped it up like we just gotta work with what we can you know so yeah and then have it let's have a ventana aquí this is our window here with our candy options again not fully stocked but we're working with what we got so let me take you guys inside for a quick little tour okay just a quick tour because we've been working all week on this inside of this and i take it upon myself to deep clean it on the weekends because it's pointless to do it daily i feel like now i have two freaking houses to clean like i have my house and then i have this to be cleaning up daily but Quick overview, esto sí quito the pots every day para lavarlas and the blender as well. We use one for the chili beans and another one for the nacho cheese. Um, so far, I've already noticed, voy a necesitar uno más grande. This ain't cutting it. It's not enough. But for now, it gets the job done. But I do, cuando se me acaba el nacho cheese, encargan mucho the hot cheetos with cheese, ya no te. Y seguido tengo que estar, you know, filling it up more. So, 
ya noté que si voy a ocupar uno más grande blender is inside i need to wash it so this freezer here is the only one that we had to purchase um this mini fridge ya la teníamos and this freezer ya también ya la teníamos um we just have a few of our ice creams here mango chocolate i just went and bought this one today and this one we were out of vanilla and strawberry we have our sink and then this mini fridge like i said we already had it we just use that for like drinks y pa guardar los cueritos and the pepinos for the tostilocos like all the fresh stuff we keep in here eventually también vamos a necesitar una hielera mucho más grande porque allí nomás no caben todas las bebidas que ocupamos but that's like another at least like thousand dollar expense so poco a poquito we're just trying to you know work with what we have and eventually save up enough to make this into something way more functionable and beautiful but this is all of the paletas i just went and stocked up this morning as well um these are the only options we have currently eventually vamos a tener todo este freezer lleno de like way more options but for now this is what we have acá tengo rocky road cookies and cream um strawberry shortcake the minion down there ninja turtles the looney tunes cups watermelon bomb cups um bomb pops watermelon original tweety sonic cotton candy uh, bubble gum there's sandwiches down there the todo sabores neapolitan chocolate strawberry and vanilla we have miraculous spongebob spider-man the kung fu panda these are the chamoy ones and we just have there's snow cones a mango all of the big dippers so for now this is what we have pero sé que poco a poquito la vamos a ir llenando también de, de más cosas and then up here is donde tenemos todas las papitas so all of our chips here um también ya noté que the most popular ones are takis and hot cheetos they fucking fly like yeah they're gone asap so cada rato i have to be restocking those and then we just have just more random stuff over here the chocolate star strawberry and caramel syrup the candies chocolates just random stuff the cones over here um yeah we have a mess i try to organize it as much as i can daily and ahí la llevamos poco a poquito la verdad que ha sido a blessing in disguise it's not what we wanted up to but we're getting there so yeah con el tiempo la vamos a ir arreglando más a nuestro gusto a que se mire más appealing to the eye from the outside even now i tell the girls and my husband like i don't even know how they stop us porque me parece ice cream truck but obviously the music you know and um yeah it, it's been really good like i said we're on week two of selling y nos ha ido bien gracias a dios and we're very excited we really are this is something that just came kind of spontaneously but we're like you know what like the economy right now is fucked up one income isn't cutting it and i don't want to work nights i can't work regular nine to five with the girls with no help so this is something that is such a blessing because i'm able to take them with me um se turnean los días cada una me llevo a, a una niña and they they're loving it as well and i love that because they're learning the value of work you gotta work for your money so i love that as well and what kid is not gonna enjoy free treats as well you know like they're they're living their best life <laughs> but yeah i'll take you guys along the journey of getting her more beautified but i just wanted to share these were the long awaited super exciting news that we had again we're super excited and we're excited to share this with you guys um we i am gonna set up like an instagram account and everything for her so that we can i don't know maybe get like booked for events or birthday parties like i'm trying to grow this as much as possible and i know social media is like an amazing way to grow things you know so get more exposure and stuff so that's what we're gonna do but that was the news guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye